If you're trying to get paid from your next project, believe me, I feel your pain, but how do you actually get to a number of $10,000 for the next project, right? What platform are you gonna do this on and then how are you really gonna keep those fans engaged to actually get to that number? The dream is sweet, but when you start to execute it, it becomes a lot more difficult. So we're gonna unpack all of this coming up on today's episode of the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham, let's hop right in. The first step is you must build an engaged audience and we've been talking about this all month. I'm gonna finish this series for the rest of the month on building the audience since we're in the beginning of the year. But without an engaged audience, none of what I tell you today will work. And this means building an email list, yes, to keep fans informed beyond social media, okay? And responding to your comments and DMs and providing value to the fans via content. Now, if you can't execute these items, I hate to say it, but you can't really bother with the rest of the video because it's not really gonna make sense here. So now check it out. We wanna choose a direct to fan proud to pay platform. If you watch my last direct to fan video with even.biz using your website or Bandcamp, you can get some pros and cons to that. I may do another video on those three or utilizing those three that's much more clear, but enough of the rambling. We need a place that we can convert fans from social media onto the platform to spend their money. And we need to do it in a very small amount of time. We're talking about anywhere from three to four seconds, if we can get that done. If we get them from Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, directly to the platform to pay directly on the pay page, we've done our job in terms of actually building that funnel to get them where they need to be, all right? But we're gonna to need to place the music somewhere so that they can pay instantly. Now, we wanna build anticipation through content. And I understand that there are two ways to do this. We can just create awareness and promote along, but for to get the high dollar amount we're looking for instantly, because we need it all at one time, we wanna build anticipation through content. So even though your audience is engaged, you're gonna wanna rile them up. And this is so true. The best way to get them ready to make a purchase is to actually build anticipation. Otherwise, the effort you put toward making sales will have to be very, very persistent. And that's the method of, okay, we're just gonna put out music and consistently hit calls to actions, telling people to go to Spotify and stream and whatnot. But anytime you got a product launch, you gotta build anticipation. You have to, if, especially if your brand isn't already built, all right? If you don't have the audience to just go spend money at the drop of a dime, you gotta build anticipation first. Y'all remember our magic 3% conversion rate, the magic 3% conversion rate. I discussed this in the, uh, you know, how to sell out shows doing absolutely nothing video. I recommend that you go back and watch that video, but three is a magic number. And if you have an engaged audience, you should be able to convert 3% of that audience at any given time to buy something. So if you use this number anytime you're ready to sell something, you'll always do well in product planning. So this number, the conversion rate, I mean, immediately stops you from just going off the deep end, oh, we could sell t-shirts and hoodies and we could sell some music and all of that. If you don't know this conversion rate number right here, then I'm giving it to you. Three is a, just a rule of thumb, right? It could be less, it could be more, but let's dig in to this 3% a little bit more on making this $10,000. Now, we wanna set our price because if I were selling an incredible digital album package, which is what it is, I would value stack the hell out of it and set the price at a point that they couldn't refuse. So let's set it at $20. Everybody has $20 to spend. You know, some might need to, you know, sacrifice two bowls of Chipotle every now and then to have that $20 to spend, but they'll sacrifice it if they really want it. People will pay for what they wanna pay for. So let's set it at $20. Now, I'm gonna get back to that value stack in a minute. Define your minimum number of buyers. Here we go, let's bring in our 3% rule. If our price is $20 and our conversion rate is 3%, then to hit our mark, our total minimum audience size has to be 16,666 people or 0.7 people. The math breaks down like this, very simple math. $10,000 divided by $20 a pop equals 500 people times or divided by 3% would give us our 16,000 people, 16,666.7 people. Now, if we go back and we check the math, the 16,666 multiplied by 3% would give us 500 people. Multiply it by $20 would give us $10,000 in revenue. So for safety, here's what I would do. I wouldn't bank on the 3%. So I would double my audience size to 33,000 people and reduce the conversion rate to 1.5%. That way we know for sure 
that we can get 10 racks off of 500 people from an audience of 33,000 people. And I'm going to say this, and this is just me from me knowing my metrics on the back end. At 33,000 people, you're probably going to have 10% of that in emails. So you're going to have 3,333 people in emails. And then from that, you'll be able to pull those people into the sales uh, funnel that you have to convert 3% to get your 500 people. Because there's 500 people in there that will buy that support you. You get what I'm saying? Now, we were talking about value stacking earlier. How do you do that? Well, first off, don't just sell the album with the audio. Like really stack that audio up. MP3s, AIFFs, FLACs. Give me the main, the club, the instrumental, acapella mixes, right? Give me the album cover, like, or even the album booklet. Allow me to print it myself or allow me to just have it, all right? Give me some posters in there and you can do whatever you want. This is a digital pack. The whole point of the digital pack is for you to not have so much effort on customer service because it's just a file delivery. And you want to also add some type of interview in there explaining the album. And we discussed this on one of my prior videos. I forgot which one it was, but you want to explain that album. And then maybe if you can afford it, do a documentary of the album. But for sure, you can have an interview of yourself explaining the album and how it came about. And then you could probably add in some of the producers and all that stuff as well. This is a base value stack that if I was spending $20, a minimum $20 on your stuff to get this, I get it. Now the POD posters and all of that's print on demand, or you could do print yourself where you have the high quality um, image in there and they could take it to a poster shop and get it printed or get it printed from a poster service online. So that's what I'm saying. Like if you had people um, pay for your digital pack, maybe you could work it in. If you're a little more advanced, you could work it into your sales funnel or operation to actually get those posters printed and shipped uh, out to the people, however you want to do it. But you can also offer the print yourself option as well, where they get the high quality image. Now, this is too much. I'm a one man team. I get it. I was a one man team for a while. So what you want to reduce is your value stacking and focus on engaging your audience. Trying to hit $10,000 on your first or second run may be too much for you right now. However, you will need to build a team if you're even thinking about winning this game. All right. So I don't want you to be a one man team for long. One man teams sign to record labels and one man teams usually don't last. And I, maybe I should do a video on that, too. One man teams sign to record labels and they don't last because somebody has to assign them the lawyer, the manager and all that other stuff. So. You don't want to be a one man team for too long. Let's take it back a little bit. Let's build that audience and then we'll we'll try this again. All right. Now, I'm just starting. What should I do first? You want to focus on the audience first and your relationship with them. Secondly, make sure you're aligned with a mission that makes your world a better place for you, as well as anybody who listens to you or views your content. Then revisit this concept once you develop an engaged audience. Now we're ready to get our $10,000. But before we do that, you know what I'm saying? We got to just work on the audience. It's kind of like what I was saying right here. Now, if we're going for $10,000 and you're going to do it very fast, I don't want you to just drop this $10,000 in your pocket because now this cash flow that you're getting could benefit an LLC that you need to have started for yourself. So what do you suggest, Casey? If you're an artist, a producer, a songwriter, or a new music executive who wants to build or needs to build your publishing company and or record label in 60 days or less, that's you if you're trying to get this $10,000 and you want to do this without searching all over the internet for all the how-tos. And I built this just for you. It's called a 60-day record label course. And we're going to build this in less than 60 days. We'll build a robust LLC for you to operate and hold that $10,000 in, get your tax write-offs, all that stuff. And you'll learn how to play the game via contract so you don't look like a sucker out here in the game not knowing what you're doing that's the worst position you can be in and finally you'll be able to collect your international and domestic record and publishing royalties for yourself without the middleman taking 15 percent of that cash flow from you because you're going to need that money when you start making that ten thousand dollars and if you slip and fall through this process you can always book a call with me i got you covered through all of this now if this is your first time watching the show Please grab the free stuff below, 10 major steps to increase your record label's profits. I'm probably going to change this to 20 major steps in a minute, so look out for it. A free split sheet included with the download is inside. Now, if the audience is there, 
Let's take a break. You should be able to make $10,000 or more with this process. Upgrade the cookhouse. You know, that comes from my how to make musical crack video and cook up again. If the audience is not there, if you don't build the audience, some followers will make the purchase. Many will feel insulted by the ask for a sale. And this is all because you haven't provided enough quality value. This ultimately tarnishes your brand and makes the next go round tougher to win. You see what I'm saying? So you kind of want to get that audience together first and hear me out. You'd be doing this anyway if, let's say, it was 2005 or 2000 and your goal was to get out and hit all the open mics, meet all the DJs, shake all the hands of anybody in the physical. You're still building your audience. Get to know the audience members. Tell them where your website is. Tell them, you know, to get the email and all that stuff. It was, if it was the year 2000, 2002, you'd be doing it in the physical anyway. You'd be building your audience anyway. So don't shy away from the tools of social media to build it here because if you're dope enough and if you learn how to make the content, the money is there for you. No need to be a starving artist out here. There's so much information throughout my channel and others to help you win. All right. Now, if you were struggling with a way to actually make a decent dollar amount from the album or next project that you were going to put out or just a sales strategy in general for the content that you're making to get people to purchase a product of yours or even keeping the audience engaged in the first place to reach that high dollar amount, you now have a means to do so. Music Money Makers, if you make music, you should always make money. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com. Jump into the 60 day record label course right down below. Download the free stuff below. Book a call on Music Money Makeover over.com and I'll see you next time. Peace.